shit. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? That's right, we're about to take the Camaro out today. <sighs> to be honest with y'all, man, let's go ahead and hop in first. Yeah, let's hop. Sheesh. Go ahead and get this thing started up first. Neutral. Sheesh, my boy. Hey, it's your boy Q. You know who the back, back. Baby, with another video, thank y'all for coming kicking it with your boy Q today. Today, I am actually just going to take the Camaro for a drive. Guys, honestly, to be honest with you, I only drive this car like two days a week, and it's mainly on the weekends. I just need more seat time, more practice with the car, like seriously. And actually, that is what this video is. I don't know how much talking I'm gonna be doing. I really just wanna drive this car, kind of put it through some paces, work on my shifting, for one, learning the gearbox, because the other day I was trying to go to fourth and went to second. I don't know how I missed fourth. Like fourth is straight down, usually the easiest shift to get, but I missed it. So anyway, that's what we doing today, man. So y'all sit back and enjoy the video. All right, y'all, let's see. Roll on. <laughs> yeah, this car got some freaking balls, man. <laughs> oh man, hopefully that music wasn't playing the whole time my damn video. Hey, might get copyrighted. Shoot. Drop it down to about 63rd gear. There we go, 64 right here. I'm not sure if it's me shifting hard or too slow off the clutch, but like it shift, it jerks a little bit. I noticed that on the hard acceleration, it jerks, it jerks. So I'm not sure if that's normal or my shifting, you know? I don't think it's gonna be like an automatic, right? To where it's just butter smooth. I'm gonna drop around the third right here, come around this bridge. Shift rev, yes sir. I can really make it scream if I went to second right now, but I ain't gonna do that. Well, I do it. It didn't scream out slowing down, but anyway, guys. Um, yeah, I noticed like when I'm like up in five, six, five, six k in the RPMs, it jerks really hard on the shifts. Not hard, not really hard, but you know, what I'm trying to say it's not smooth. Let me get a quick third right here. See right there, like it's zoom zoom, it's jerking. And I'm just like, like I said, like right there, fourth it wasn't. So I don't know if it's just on the hard, hard acceleration. It does that or, you know, what? Is that normal? Y'all come below, is that normal? Yeah, I got a call over here when I play. <laughs> I found fifth. So guys, if I haven't said it already, like for some reason, I'm like so scared to like try to find fifth because I always accidentally go into third for some reason. And so I don't know. So getting to fifth, I get a little scared, but I got to practice it, bro. You got to practice it, guys. Like anything, or like you watch professional athletes or a singer or an instrumental player or instruments, the instruments, whatever you want to call it practice 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 right so like i gotta practice this you know what i'm saying like it's not an option that like you go mess up that's part of the process right so you gotta practice man it was third year make sure you know cops but let's see all right it's the four all right if i just do it like casually and slow it's not too bad i can just do casually slow and they don't give me that jerk but when i do it like i think maybe it's me so maybe it's me in the driving what I'm trying to do is like, bum, bum, do it too fast, like stuff I see in the movie. I mean, movies and on YouTube. And those guys probably way better drivers than I am, you know? I 
this I'm gonna go from fourth to fifth just try to get used to going to fifth I got it, I got it, I got it, you know? So it's like repetition, 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 and eventually I think I'll get it to get, well, I figure out the gearbox and like where it is, where every gear is, you know what I'm saying? Drop the third, or 60, real quick 60. Here we go. I probably should be in second going from a 60 roll as opposed to third because there's not a lot of torque right there and that's one thing about the manual guys me having this car like it challenges me every time I step into it to like perfect my shifting or to be better at shifting and just learn more about the car you know I get automatic I can just floor down and you know let off I can do that in the manual too I'm in fifth gear I can just roll on right it kind of challenges me every time I step in here go down to fourth I didn't have to, but I wanted to. And let's think about it, I can do what I want to. I'm gonna go to third. I just wanna kinda get another fourth right here. Go. I will tell you what though, those downshifts are crispy. And they sound so good on this car. This is all sounds amazing. Let's see if we can get a little. I'm gonna go from second to third right here and see what happens. Sure, ain't nobody coming. That's a good spot. That was a good one. That was okay. That wasn't bad right there. The third. Drop the third right here. Little pool. Woo -hoo! Now that was a crisp one right there, baby. Oh, these brakes are woo -hoo! really, really good. That's good because I haven't really had to test them like that, but they're really, really good. Ooh, that was a good one. Good one, Q. Yes, sir. Get a little third right here. Actually, I'm gonna go to, let me see, second. I went to freaking fifth, see? I wasn't focused. I was trying to look over my shoulder at the same time as I was getting on the freaking interstate, you know what I'm saying? So that guy looking like, man, what this dude doing? 60. Yeah, there's not a lot of torque at all. Woo, see, I did it again. I tried to go into freaking fifth and I went into third. I'm mess around and break this freaking car, bro. <laughs> That scares me every time I do that. Jesus Christ. Woo. Yeah, so we gotta get that figured out, man. I gotta, I gotta get better at that. Yeah, so I don't like to finish on bad shifts, so I'm gonna go back down and do it again. Now I got fit. I just don't like to finish on a bad shift. Dang it, I missed the gear. I was doing pretty good, so let me gather, regather myself real quick and then I'm gonna come back. I just pulled up real quick to make sure everything good with the car. <laughs> I always get worried like how bad how big of an issue that is when you that when you uh basically redline the heck out of it because you went uh downshifted so instead of going into fifth i went into third at a very high speed <laughs> curious if that is uh how much stress is that on the car and all that i knew that freaking paper towel was on my junk oh i just touched that it's gross it has stuff on it uh. my guy dion did give me some advice on how to go to fifth from fourth to fifth at high speeds, or just in general. He said, Q, before you re get ready to go to fifth, just kind of put a little pressure on the shifter to the right, and then push up, that way it kind of guides it there. And I think right there, I was trying to do it too fast, and I went straight up. If you drove manual, do you even use fifth when you're racing the manual, or do you, do you just go to top of fourth and kind of let it out, you know, and pull off from there? But I'm gonna let the car cool down for a second. This all sounds amazing, though. Oh, Mustang up here, I would've went. I'm about to go.
go in the fifth again. There we go. I just, you just gotta keep practicing. I'm telling y'all, you drive in, you probably know fifth is probably the weirdest and hardest. To me, the hardest get shift to get. Second or third, and second or third is actually not that bad for me. But fifth, fourth or fifth is just it hard for me and it scares me. Every time you're ready to do it, I think I get nervous. This is just me working on my shifting from fifth to third. I got that easy. Yeah, I go to fifth, fifth. Gotta keep practicing that cue. Fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth. There we go. I tell you guys, anytime you start anything new, man, repetition, repetition, practice, you go fail. Don't get discouraged. It's a little discouraging, don't get me wrong. I really just don't want to hurt the car. And it hurts my body a little bit, I'll be real. But I really just don't want to hurt the car. I'm like, am I hurting the car? I don't want to break the car, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah! This is why a lot of guys say if you don't drive a manual, you don't, you don't, you know, guys in automatics. <laughs> because you really have to drive this car, like, you know, you have to drive, you have to shift it. Like, there's no assistance. So like, they say real men drives manual, blah, 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 blah. You know how that goes. I mean, it's kind of some truth to it. I will say like, me experiencing this for the first time, it is all on you, buddy. Like, all on you to make sure you got this car, you know, going where it needs to go. That's a good shift. Go to fifth. Boom. Yeah, you know? So I, I kind of got it. It's just at high, high speeds when that reaction time and you're racing, the adrenaline rushing. Really got to dial in on your shift. I'm gonna go up down to third right here and get a. I'm gonna go to second. I, I tell you, second, third, to fourth, this car has some like down there has some power. Like it's, it, I can feel it. for real no cap this car is fun second third to fourth Keep it on your toes. So we'll get some runs going, hopefully with somebody, you know, soon. You know, once I get a little more comfortable with shifting this thing at higher RPM. I do want to say one thing, this credit to the car. You know, I'm gonna go to second. Sheesh. I do want to say one thing, credit to the car. Even when I shifted from fourth to, uh, to third, the car like slowed down. It didn't upset itself. Like it didn't lock up. It, it let me know like, whoa, you in the wrong gear. Like it, it kind of scared me for a second. And I realized I was in a, you know, whatever. A great car first man. I, I hate to say first manual to have, but honestly it almost really is a good manual to car to have, like for real. Um, because it's just so easy to drive. And then it does that crap right there. Oh. So it has this feature where it has, to save fuel economy, it skips to fourth gear. And there's a few times I find myself fighting the thing. I want to go to second, it wants to go to fourth. So we're fighting each other and I ended up in neutral revving the engine. Like, and you could feel it right there happen. I was trying to go to second and wanted to go to fourth. I was like, you know, so it's weird. It like automatically puts the car in fourth for you. Like weirdest feeling, which is why I say this is a good car to start as a manual because so much people say you should learn how to drive without the assistance and all that. But it just really has a lot of assistance and heel assist that makes stuff like that easy for you as a new manual owner. But I'm gonna get another one. Anyway, guys, let's go wrap the video up. It's your boy Q. Bye, take my butt home. So, thank y'all for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like button, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.